Well, Unicorn Guy, today's the day that I decide to put all three of the Dell computers on the bed. There's the one Dell installing Windows 98 Second Edition. But this computer used to have Windows 95 on it, but screw that. I got enough Windows 95 computers in there. Um, this computer does have an operating system on it, but it it has a problem. It won't even let me uh, see what operating system it has. I'm guessing there's an error with it. This one over here has Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3 installed on it. So I don't need to worry about this one. Um, the reason why I don't have this one turned on yet... Where's the disk? Is because Windows 2000, like Windows 2000 will be going on this computer. The reason why I'm not installing Windows 2000 right away yet is because when you install the RAM inside, it calculates it by kilobytes. It doesn't calculate it by megabytes. In this computer, it has 64 megs of RAM, but I will be taking those RAM sticks out and put 128 megs in. Well, if I'm going to um, install RAM, I want to know how many megs it is. I know kilobytes and megs are both the same, kind of, but really, I find it easier to find out how much I have with megabytes, not kilobytes, because I don't really understand kilobytes that much. I know a lot about computers, but kilobytes is the one thing I'm going to be like, yeah, I don't know what kilobytes is. I know it's not very much. So after when Windows 98 is installing, or after when it's done, I'm going to um, take the RAM sticks out, go through my whole bag and see which one of these suckers is 128. This Dell computer has 300 and something megabytes of RAM, but every time when you turn it on you get these weird little lines that go across the screen. Trust me, I've plugged in that screen, this screen, and this screen, and I still get the same thing. But when I unplug the uh, when I unplug the new RAM stick that I just put in there, the lines go away. So I guess this computer doesn't really like the RAM sticks I just put in it, or the one stick. So let's see how much it has. It has 320 megabytes of RAM. So that's not bad, but I'm going to take out that one RAM stick and put it in that computer. Who cares? This computer is like, I think it's a 2007. Or what? what is the Pentium processor on it? It is a Pentium 3. Although, I got a Pentium 4 sticker on there. I don't know, I guess it's fucked up or something. A Pentium 3, me uh, yeah, Pentium 3 CPU, it's kind of weird, and it's a 1.20 gigahertz processor. Oh well, good enough for me. Well, just gotta wait until everything's ready, and then I'll film the startup contest. I don't have three hands. I guess I'm gonna have to use my toe. But that damn button's so small to push. Wonder if I should get my smash crew over here, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see.